All right, since I'm at home crippled right now, uh, let's do a technical unboxing and review. I've never owned one of these before. This is a uh, solar power bank. So if you don't know what a power bank is, it's a mobile charger. It's what you use to charge electronic devices. So this is one of my phones and I'm deliberately leaving it off uh, by itself so that it's going down and, and uh, it'll need charging up. So this thing, it doesn't have a brand name on it, which is usually a bad sign. It does say made in China. Uh, again, sometimes can be a bad sign. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. Um, yeah, fairly simple. Okay, but what's what's interesting about this is it's a solar power bank. Instruction manual. Oh, good. It's got some English. Fantastic. Ah, uh, USB charging cable. It's in, like adapters. Oh, it's a power cable with adapters. Okay, so there's like an iPhone adapter. Um, no, no, like an Apple adapter. And then two of the regular USB adapters. Okay, cool. And the power bank. Uh, okay, so basically what I, do, what I want to do with this is I actually want I want to leave it in the sun. And I don't want to pl 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 plug it into the wall because we all know how well these things charge when you just go and plug them in the wall. They'll charge up, fine. And then you go and use this to charge this. Uh, with this thing, I'm going to leave it out in the sun because it's a sunny day right now and it's like 1.30 in the afternoon. So I'll leave it outside for a few hours. Let it charge up. Then I'm going to try and use this to charge this. And we'll see if it actually charges just based purely on solar power. Okay, correction. This product actually comes fully charged. I had to read the instruction manual. Yeah, read the friggin' instructions. I had to read the instruction manual. So. Going to have to let this thing fully offload. So I'm going to charge this and then maybe charge some other devices. Maybe I'll use this to charge the GoPro. And then I'm probably going to have to solar charge this tomorrow after this thing is completely depleted. The reason is that I know with a lot of electronic devices these days, they will trickle charge these things as their first charge. Um, this is what I've heard, is that when these, when these devices become charged for the first time, they have to trickle charge them, which means charge them really slowly. That gives them like their maximum full charge. Um, then you've got to run it out and then recharge it. So I'm going to spend the day running this thing out and then probably tomorrow charging it up in the sun. Hopefully we have a sunny day. And then we will see how well it does purely on solar power. Okay. And time lapse, go. Okay, welcome to day two. Right now, it's outside on the car, um, in the sunlight, charging up. Okay, so you can see the uh, the solar power charging bay there. It's sitting on the dashboard of the car here. It's actually saying, yeah, I'm charging, yeah, I'm charging. Um, and I haven't had to press the power button or anything. I've literally just put it in the sunlight because I did run this thing empty last night. The weather potentially is about to turn. So I'm gonna transfer this thing to the inside of the car on the dashboard. It's been going for about four hours now, so I'm gonna leave it for maybe six or seven hours. We'll see. Okay, moment of truth. So the power bank here has had approximately seven and a half hours out in the sunlight. And as, you, as I showed you earlier, it has been charging. Uh, and these lights, they stop flickering because I brought it inside. Um, this cell phone, the Samsung cell phone, power level is down to 9%. Moment of truth. Okay. Okay, so it's flashing with two blue lights. So I think with two blue lights, it's accumulated approximately a 50% charge. Oh, not good. We're, it's only about 10 minutes in and we're down to one flashing light. And we're up to only 19% of the battery here. Wow. Yeah, I guess it must have been less than 50% charge this thing got. And just like that, it's given up the ghost. This is up to 20%. 
so I got 11% charge on this thing. <sighs> That's a very disappointing result. Seven and a half hours of sitting in the sun here gave this cell phone 11% of charge. Okay, conclusion to this unnamed solar power bank. Unboxing, review, and solar power test. Solar charger. <laughs> Again, no brand name. Um, now I'm gonna make one assumption about this. I'm gonna make an assumption that hopefully, presumably, one would assume that the solar panel on the thing is not necessarily going to affect the overall performance based on brand name. So what I'm saying is that if this thing had a Sony brand name on it, probably the performance of the solar panel itself would be the same. Because the sun is the same most places in the world you go. Presumably the solar panels are the same. I'm gonna make that assumption for this video. So, what did I do with this thing? I, it came fully charged, uh, and then I depleted it the first day that I had it, the first night that I had it. So I charged up the PlayStation controller, I charged up one of my phones, and I charged up this GoPro itself. Um, and I got um, a fair bit of charging out of it, out of full charge, so that was good. So, I mean, that says to me that this little power bank of this size, um, I'm just gonna see what, Capacity it is here, yeah. Capacity 10,000 mAh. Don't ask me what mAh is, but I, I think that's a measurement of how much power you get inside it. So 10,000 mAh. Uh, you know, I got those three devices charged. So definitely, you would be able to charge like a GoPro camera, you know, fully out of this little power bank uh, if you were traveling, um, or your cell phone probably fully. Um, you know, out of this little power bank. Um, the solar panel itself, it's basically a supplementary gimmick. I left the solar panel in the sun for seven and a half hours and it got approximately one quarter charge. <laughs> um, you know, like one light here. It was kind of flashing two lights, but really it was just one light. And I got 11% um, of that. <laughs> So I got 11% charge out of it on my Samsung smartphone. So my Samsung smartphone, which had a 9% battery level reading on it, plugged into this, it brought it up to 20% before this thing was completely depleted. So basically seven and a half hours of sitting just in the sun gave me a pitiful amount of electricity. So whilst this is usable, it's more of a gimmick. So it's the kind of thing where, you know, maybe you're charging up, uh, you're, you're, you're going camping or something, uh, or you're driving all day, um, and for whatever reason, this thing is going to be sitting in the sun. So yeah, it will give you some supplementary electricity, the solar panel, um, but not a lot, not much. Uh, that said, the, the power bank itself is fine. Um, you know, when you plug it into the computer or you plug it into a power source to charge it, um, it'll charge up fine, you know, like in a couple of hours. And then you'll, you'll, you'll be able to offload it onto your electronics. So, that is the, the unnamed Solar Charger 10,000 mAh. Thanks for watching. See you later.